I haven't smelled for many years. Hey, fat dog. What's up with all the weird mirror stuff? Nothing! Nothing! I'm not doing anything! You all right, fat dog? I'm fine. I'm... In fact, I'm not even here. I'm a figment of your overactive pancreas. Wow. Fat dog's really losing it. Some bunch of crazies is coming this way, if you ask me. Run! Run for the hills! Oh, look at how cute they are in their tiny cars and funny hats. <laughs> they look so silly. I mean, how could they be bad? <laughs> Look, grown men in miniature cars. Can you believe it? Are they serious? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it just makes me want to laugh at them from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Little miniature cars. Wicked. I've been looking all over for you, fat dog. You're never going to believe this, but... Uh, what are you doing? I'm making sure those little bumpkins don't get in here. You mean the Bald Moose Lodge? Well, that's what I came to tell you. They're here, and they're really fun. They've got these great hats, and they drive these cute little mini cars. They're evil, little costume buddy. Evil, I tell you. Uh, or at least that's what I've heard. No, they're not. They're here to help, to spread joy, and to wear our funny hats. Come on, I'll show you. Come on, fat dog. See? How could anybody that's holding a glass eye rally for Pops be bad? This is the happiest day of my life. It brings tears to my eye. See? He's got so many colors to choose from. It's great. The fat dog is not convinced. You don't know these guys like, uh, well, you just don't know these guys, okay? These guys are cocking mom rectangles, not rolls. How could that be bad? Woof, how could it be good? Ooh, insanity. Because I do not hope to turn again. Because I do not hope. Because I do not hope to turn. I ask you, how could guys that read poetry to small forest animals be bad? 
Look, I'm telling you, no one should trust these bald moose guys, especially the way they read poetry. Desiring this man's gifts and another man's scope, I no longer strive to strive towards such things. You got it all wrong, fat dog. I'm sorry. But this time, you're all washed up. <laughs> you guys cracked me up. On behalf of the citizens of Neighborhood X, we'd like to show our amusement and general mirth regarding your silly hats and miniature cars. Oh, and the good deeds, too. By giving you, brethren of the Bald Moose Lodge, this, the key to our fair neighborhood. This is madness. Madness, I tell you. I won't let you do it. Fat dog, uh, let go of the key. These guys are here to do good. <laughs> let go, you crazy man. <laughs> Give the funny man from the Bald Moose Lodge the key. Uh, uh, Come on, fat dog. Give it up! Don't do it! Don't do it! You've all gone mad! Mad, I tell you! <laughs> Sorry about that. It's a little slobbery. I hope you don't mind. We gladly accept such a warm and generous offer. Thank you, Neighborhood X. Good night! My lord, it is as you have foretold. We now have the key to the city. Good. All is working according to plan. I'm on Highway 9. I'll be there momentarily. Then, we can reap the glories of my plan. Um, there is something else, my lord. Fat Dog. He's here. Excellent. Now, we shall finish it. Buck Mulligan and Fat Dog, once and for all time! <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Fat Dog, my man. It's only a Bunch of bald moose guys. I can handle this. <laughs> Incoming! What are you doing? You're now looking at a proud member of the Bald Moose Lodge Junior League. I'm a full fledged Bald Moose Cup. No! Say it ain't so! Oh, these guys are great. They're dedicated to righting wrongs and doing good deeds. And they wear funny hats. <laughs> you should hear what Buck told me. Buck? Buck Mulligan? Yeah, he's the big cheese or something. The El Cheese Grande. Right. Well, he told me that I could start my very own crime-fighting wing of the Bald Moose Lodge. Fully funded. <gasps> it's like a dream come true. Uh, that dog? Uh, I just can't seem to get away from those Bald Moose Lodge guys. It's like a bad dream. I just can't shake. Now they got their moose claws into my little costume, buddy. <laughs> Ow. Uh, set me up with another one over here. <laughs> Can I really have my own prison for all the criminals right there in the Bald Moose crime wing? You bet, kid. It's all going to work out beautifully. You'll be one of us in no time. With your very own crime wing. Crime wing? Buck Mulligan, making time with my best little costume buddy. This has got to stop. It's time the kid knew the truth. The whole truth, and something like the truth. <coughs> oh. Take a break for a minute, kid. There's something I've got to tell you. Do I have to? I'm drawing up the plans for the new crime wing for Buck Mulligan's approval. Crime wing. Snap out of it, kid. Buck Mulligan's using the power of crime over you. Look, 
I have to come clean here. It all started a long, long time ago. No, 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 not that far back. Yeah, that's better. Way back when, not only was I once a member of the Bald Moose Lodge, but I was their fearful leader, El Cheese Grande. All was well, or so it seemed. One of the younger members, my own protege to be precise, wanted more out of the Bald Moose Lodge. That man was Buck Mulligan. He had delusions of grandeur. He wanted respect. He wanted full-size cars. <laughs> Utter insanity. Of course, I wouldn't stand for it, full-size cars. Only a crazy man would want full-size cars. But Buck Mulligan was too politically strong within the group. And I would have taken them all on, beaten them too, if that vile Buck wasn't holding a ham hostage. I had no choice but to resign. <laughs> that poor ham. I didn't know, fat dog. I didn't know. I'm so sorry. What do we do now? Well. Do not attempt to adjust your television set. We are in control. We have taken control of your town. We're serious here. In fact, we're so serious here that we have disbanded the Chamber of Commerce. So now, you will have no choice but to bow down to our will. You shall all be slaves of the Bald Moose Lodge. We will no longer be the laughing stock of the world. <sighs> We will own the world! Wipe those smirks off your faces. No smirking, no giggling, no tittering. There had better not be any laughing going on there right now, because I have a secret weapon to ensure our invulnerability and seriousness. <gasps> Neighborhood X, prepare to be ruled like an iron moose. I mean it! Oh, trash, we gotta do something. No, I've got to do something. I should have finished this with Buck Mulligan years ago. It's my duty. And Fat Dog always does his dog duty. Come on, I've got to stash you someplace safe. There is a nighttime curfew. No one is allowed on the streets after night. I'm serious. I'm very serious. There had better not be anybody laughing at me out there. I mean it! It's important that Buck Mulligan can't find you. But I want to help you, Fat Dog. Don't underestimate the power of Buck Mulligan. Promise me you'll stay right here until this is over. Promise me! I couldn't go on if anything happened to you. You're my little costume buddy. All right. I promise. Not even Buck Mulligan could find little costume buddy in there. <laughs> Our time has come at last. No longer will we be the laughing stock of the world. My dream has come to fruition. I've got your fruition right here, Buck Mulligan. <gasps> I knew you would come. Let's finish it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> when last we met, I was but the bald moose cub. Now, I am the El Cheese Grande. I have learned much, and I think it's time I took an apprentice. I believe your little costumed buddy will do nicely. You will leave the kid out of this. This is between you and me. Let's settle it like men. He'll make a fine protege. I will teach him the ways of the Bald Moose Lodge. Once you're out of the way... Now cut it with the cheese already. Your butt is mine. Bald mooses, attack! 
I feel a draft. Hauka! Man, I haven't been this embarrassed ever. Well, except for that time I woke up with the name Frankie tattooed on my rump. Hoo hoo, woof. My brothers, we shall now shirk the old image of goofy fat men in loud shirts and stupid hats and put on the new image of cruel, dominating fat men in loud shirts and stupid hats. <laughs> and now. I will unveil the two things which will take us into the next phase of our being taken seriously power. Little costume, buddy. But how did you find him? You talk in your sleep. And besides, the kid's a sucker for crime. It's just as I feared. Buck is using his promise of the crime wing over my little costume, buddy. This boy will become my protege and lead the Bald Moose Lodge in the decades to come. Must build crime wing. And this is what we will use to strike fear into the hearts of the world. Not only a full-size car, but a really big car. <laughs> One of the benefits of not having hands. <laughs> Psst, little costume, buddy. Snap out of it, boy! Must build crime wing. That's a load of hot gas from Buck Mulligan. They're not gonna build any crime wing. Must build crime wing. He spent all the money from the Bald Moose Lodge treasury in order to build that big black car to commit crime. No crime wing? Committing crime? I've been played the fool. I'm gonna show that Buck Mulligan a piece of my mind. Hold on, kid. I've got a plan. What's he doing here? He's supposed to be sacrificed to the founder of the Bald Moose Lodge. I found Fat Dog trying to escape. He told me many lies. Of course, I did not believe him. I trust only you, Buck Mulligan. Fat Dog did well to hide you from me. You can learn from me now. You can one day become the El Cheese Grande of the Bald Moose Lodge. Together, the world will be ours. With this paddle, I shall paddle the Bald Moose Lodge up to a new level of respect. Did I hear a snicker out there? I better not have. No, wait! Allow me the honor of paddling him as the great sacrifice. Let the bald moose inside you grow. <gasps> Let it flower. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Oh, please, do not hurt me. Oh, I wish not to be hurt. As my grandmother always used to say to me, not on the rug, not on the rug! You won't fit, Fat Dog. Move over. Mine dry it. After that, don't let them get away! Move your butt, fat dog! He's right in the way! To the left! The left! <laughs> We've lost him! Um, maybe not. Punch it, kid! <laughs> not like that! Hit the gas! The gas! <laughs> We're not gonna make it, Fat Dog! Hang on, kid. I've got an idea. Hello. 
Hey, Sal, it's me, Fat Dog. <laughs> uh, how's your tail hanging, Fat Dog, my man? Uh, not so good. I need you to do me a favor. Yup. I want to bring by a special delivery package. What about the kid? I got it fixed. No worries. For you, anything. Slam on the brakes, kid. Now! See you in Hack Buck Mulligan! Oh, I hope Fat Dog will be okay. You're the greatest, Sal! Thanks for the Goombas, Fat Dog. Oh, gotta go. Fat Dog, you're alive! But what happened to all the bald moose guys? Let's just say they had to spit town. <laughs> I mean, split town. <laughs> For good. Nice work, Buck. But, but, but this isn't fair. Oh, I wanted to be taken seriously. Seriously? <laughs> Little costume, buddy. I want you to have this scepter of El Cheese Grande. You deserve it. But the cheese is gone. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, kind of got hungry with all the excitement. Oh, fat dog. <laughs> that tickles. Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> 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 